So just one more final to come. It's the men's singles final. Victor Axelsson in his fifth final at this event. That's a record. He's the reigning world and Olympic champion and two times former champion here up against the three time former world junior champion, Kunlawut Widersan of Thailand. This, of course, is a repeat of last year's world championship final in Tokyo, where Axelsson won his second world championship gold. Well, this is the men's singles draw from the quarterfinal stage and uh, six seeds in and uh, three former finalists, not only Victor Axelsson, but Cho Tien Chen. He had been in two finals previously, as indeed Lo Ken Yu. He had been in the final last year, but by semi-final, it was only Victor Axelsson who had contested a final previously. Four seeds at semi-final, three different nationalities, because two Indonesians who both lost on semi-finals day. A record fifth final at the India Open for Victor Axelsson. No player in the history of this event has contested five finals. Not even players who have played in two doubles events. The reigning world and Olympic champion is in the form of his life. His opponent, Kunlawut Widersan of Thailand. The first men singles player to win three consecutive world junior titles. Making his first appearance here at the India Open and he's through to the final to set up a rematch with Victor Axelsson, a repeat of that World Championship final in Tokyo last year. This will in fact be a sevens meeting between these two players. And of the previous six, well, Victor Axelsson has not only won them all, he's won them all in two straight games. Widdersson has never taken a game off his opponent of today. He's got to turn things around big Hello. time Welcome. if he's to take the title here, the young man from Bangkok. Okay, let's have a toss. Choose your color. So the toss Red of the coin. Black. Red. You have the black one. Please, please conduct the tower. A guest to do the toss. Open up. He won the toss. Well, receive. We we'll start here. Thank yep. you, sir. Widdersan has said he wants to receive. Well, that's fairly extraordinary. Axelson getting the toss, the choice of ends. Well, he turned Line 29 jets. 18 Line days jets. ago. Uh, born in Odense in Denmark, which is where we have the Denmark Open each year, another of the 750 events. Two Olympic medals, bronze in Rio, gold in Tokyo, three World Championship medals, in two, in, including you. two golds in 2017, and again last year, seven medals at European Championships, two All England titles. His list of achievements goes on and on. And today, a bit of a milestone because it's his 50th career final today. He's 24th at World Tour level. A beat a former champion, Kidambi, in the first round, and then bought, beat another former champion, Shiyu Chi, in the second round. Erasmus Gemka sadly had to retire with a hideous injury in the opening game of their quarter final. In the semi final, he beat the Asian Games gold medalist, Jonathan Christie in two straight games. So the number eight seed, Kunlawu Dawidasan, is just 21 years of age, uh, born in Chonbori. Uh, five foot eight, uh, that equates to, well, actually, they've got him down as much taller than I have. I had him down at 173. Playing off his career high, winter on Tuesday, 
back to his career high of eight, so it's his fifth week in total at eight in the world. But after this week, he's going to go to number six. One of his matches went the full distance against the former world number two, Anders Antonsen. Then he played in the quarterfinal a last year's a beaten finalist, Lo Ken Yu. Semi-final against the Olympic bronze medalist, Anthony Ginting. So our umpire for this is uh, Roberto Stomi Oscarayano of Indonesia and uh, John, John from Bahrain is the service judge. Well seen a 50th career final today for Victor Axelsen. That's pretty special, isn't it? Yeah, that's impressive. That's impressive. Could be, couldn't it be his first back-to-back -back in Asia with travel in between the tournaments? I think so. No, last. No. Oh, with travel. Yeah, with travel. Ah, yes. He has won back-to-back -back titles here in Asia, but that was last year the Indonesia Masters and in the Indonesia Open. And then there was a week break and he did travel to the next event to Malaysia and he won that. So he has won back to back in the calendar. Yeah. In the World Tour calendar. Yeah, well, that's getting ahead of ourselves. So uh, yeah. let's see if Vitisang can uh, extend his previous scoring in the game Ready? against Axelson. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Victor Axelsen, Denmark. And on my left, Bulawut Hiditsar, Thailand. Victor Axelsen, to serve. Love all. Play. Actually, if we look at the calendar that bridges uh, across two calendar years, as far as the World Tour is concerned, he's looking to win his fourth title in four tournaments played. Yeah. The French Open. It's not all part of the World Tour because he missed the... That's a wonderful painting, isn't it? Quite obviously, Victor Axelsen. He didn't go to Australia. So no. it's, it's not the full calendar, but it, it's looking to win his full title in four tournaments that he's played. Two, love. What has Widdesan got to do one, two, to change things three. around today from the previous six meetings between them? He's got to get control of the rallies. He's going to um, uh, win the net in the front court uh, against Axelsen, and he's got to stay in balance. Um, deceptions is good. It's time. Three, one. Then uh, he's got to play the service situation well in order to get the control of the rallies.
Yeah, somebody's using Play. a laser in the crowd, not just a flashlight. Oh. Right, um, but that. I think the laser was to point out who oh, was using okay. the flashlight. That's a good lift. Yeah. Positive um, two rallies, the last two rallies, Paul Vitt is on this, uh, even though he oh. couldn't get through on his first uh, chance in uh, attacking or controlling the rallies, the Nexus missed on his opportunities. in terms of uh, fatigue, both physical and uh, mental. Physical, I would say that uh, Vitesan has had just as tough two weeks as Axel's week as he's been on court for a long, long while. Yeah. Last week is semi-final. He's on court for an hour and 53 minutes. over for, oh. his very best yesterday against um, Anthony Ginting. I think he was a little bit lucky winning that match. Even though he won it in straight games, but um, he stand out really well here in the opening stage of this final. Good pace. Six points to Widdersan. Oh, what on earth happened there? There was a little deception gone wrong. Seven, four. Quite clearly the longest rally of this match so far. 
Beloved, only towel. Just wide. Six, seven. Victor Axelsen challenges call out. I think he might have a case, but uh, very difficult for our position. Let's see here. No. No, that's wrong. So only one challenge remaining. Challenge and successful. Game one Victor challenge Axelsen. remaining. Service over eight, six. Play. You know, that's so good. You know, that's champion status, so isn't it? You make an seven, error, you hit one eight. long of the back line, the very next shot you play towards the back, yeah. you adjust your shot and you keep it in. Exactly. Strong play, five bits of sound there. Service over. Able to nine, change pace seven. and uh, follow up at the net. Super important. Service over. It, but there must have been another deception on access and shot. <laughs> See the body of Vitsis on yeah. totally in a different direction. Wow, my goodness me, that's good recovery. He took the net shot so late. Look Sounds at it, over and then gets behind the next nine. one to play the winning smash. Yeah. Extraordinary. <laughs> He's not satisfied, Axel. <laughs> Seven over ten. Oh. It. it is so it's over the Thai youngster, San, who has the advantage at the mid-game interval, albeit just a one-point advantage. Twelve minutes played. Yeah. 
20 seconds, 20 seconds. Push, 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 well, there's definitely some dames in the stadium here. I suspect the uh, couple in the VIP seats are probably from the embassy. Did you catch anything that uh, the coach was saying to Victor? Uh, a little bit. That when you hit straight, then start running across immediately. He's crossing you all the time. Well, then... Well... For the record, as far as Victor Axelsson is concerned, the two titles he won here at the India Open back in 2017 and 19, having been in three consecutive finals because he lost in 15, 16, and then won in 17. So it's a tournament where he has a very good record. That's gone long. 13, 10. And you mentioned earlier, Jill, that Bitsan has never taken a game off Axis, and in fact, he's never scored more than 16 points in a game. So there's a chance that um, that record is going to fall here. Good shot. Brilliant. My goodness me, for a tall athlete, he is a agile. 11, 13 leaps from the base position in the center of the court to play that round the head smash Body smash used at exactly the right time. Thank you. The encore. Doing the same thing in return. Over 14, uh, straight at him. And a good uh, finish. I think they discussed that. I'm not sure, but I think they discussed that situation that he's going to go straight to the uh, forehand of Axis and from his backhand round the head side. Um, had a very good follow up by the Sun. It's gone long. Yeah. He's struggling to control it. I think this 15, drift 12. is different to when we. First started. But we have a match here. Yeah. For the first time. When Witsasan has been playing Axel Sun. over 13, 15. Yeah, that World Championship final in Tokyo. 5 and 16 is the scoreline. Brilliant. Problem is actions cannot put pressure on those 16, lifts. 13. So it's possible for Vitasan to get below them. That means need to change his uh, shot selection. Need to variate. Brilliant on the net shot of the from Victor Axelsen. 14, 16. Take a look at this. You will not Good see level. a tighter, better net shot than that. That Good is level. perfect.
Thank you. Fourteen sixteen. Excellent net game, controlled attack. 15, 16. Perfect, perfect placement. For the first 17, time 16. since Victor Axelson led 4 3, he is back in the lead. It's landed in. 18. Oh, you could save. Good defence. Yeah. Well, coach was right about Widisan crossing over everything. Seven, yeah. eighteen. surpassed his previous best score in a game against Axelson. He might even win this game yet. Way long of the back line 18. and it's 18 oh. all. Good flick serve. Is over. He seemed Nine to be there in 18. good time. Uh, Where does on? We wanted to play it as flat as possible. Well, we did it a little bit. Good defense by Axelson. Beautiful. Lovely cross court net from Kula to Widdersheim. Who's going to have the game points? Clear on. Clear on. Clear on.
Oh, my goodness me. He anticipated the backhand drop shot. And Victor Anselson was ready and waiting. 20. And the previous Game time he played it cost his son. Brave of Axelson to go for the straight one. Game point opportunity to Victor Axelson. Oh, a lucky net cord for this arm. And it's 20 all. So sober. An extra point required oh, until the clear two point winning margin. Oh, my goodness. Nothing you can do about that. against him. 21, 20. Widdersan now has a game point opportunity himself. <laughs> Open game, game to Kula to Widdersan. It's territory where he's never 22, been before. 20. A first ever game taken off the reigning world and Olympic champion by the young Thai player. And Thai supporters celebrate. What a fabulous opening game. 22-20 in 24 minutes. Twenty seconds, twenty seconds. Second game, love all. Play. Well, it is new territory for Kunla Wood with her son. Never previously taken a game off the Dane. But that's a good opening rally by the former champion and the reigning world and Olympic champion. Steen, could you hear any of the coaching break there? Uh, uh, Victor said, uh, uh, I, I cannot lose the uh, sort of overview of the front court play. I have to play it in one more time. And um, then he reminded himself that he'd made six um, attacking errors. Amazed that he's got time to count them. If he gave him a microphone, he could do the commentary <laughs> as well while he's playing. But um, Two, look. Uh, interesting to see here. Victor moves to the better side of the court, but Vitesan, he's got to keep on uh, attacking. He's got to keep the pressure on Axels. And, this is not the way to do it. Oh, yeah, that's a lucky one for uh, Vitesan. He's yeah, got to keep challenging, over. and his one, attack two. is getting extra uh, bite here from this near side of the court. So uh, there's only one way to go. Full speed forward. 
Time is over. Three, one. And, uh, even though Wittesheim won the first game, I still think Axelsen is um, the favorite to win. Good play. Excellent. Yeah. That's brilliant. Service over. Two, three. One out. One change. Change. Time is over, 4-2. He's a little uneasy in his chair, Victor's coach. Yeah. He also happens to be his father-in-law. I think. 5-2. I have a feeling that Vitesan is letting this game go. The second one, I wouldn't Already? be surprised. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Well, he did a Victor Axelson yeah. shot yeah, against he did. Victor Axelson. Yeah. Six. That's the day two. speciality. Should have done one more. <laughs> Seven. I thought yesterday against uh, Ginting, he looked a little bit tired, Vitesan, um, not really playing that fast. So it was a pleasant surprise to see the first game here, where he really went all out. But um, yeah, he's looking tired now, though, yeah. isn't he? And now the rallies are going uh, the way Axelsen won on, on his premises. Langer. Yeah. Look at that steepness of shot, accuracy yes. of shot. Thank you. And that's what he Very was doing so well yesterday against Jonathan Christie. <laughs> ben Yoniyama Play. from the title sponsors and the Danish ambassador. Yes, Mr. Freddy Swarney. Service over. Three, eight. Sveine in Danish. And his wife. Nice to see them here. Four left. Service over. Nine, four. Doesn't completely settled to me. No, no Axelson. No, he's not. And I don't think he's been throughout the tournament. We saw the first round where he was down 14-5 in the second game against uh, Shrikan, but then managed to come back. I thought that yesterday's match Seven against over. Jonathan Christie sort of uh, Ten, had him five. settled in again. But but uh, I also think we have to give credit to Vitesan for Absolutely. really. Um, uh, being there in the first game and, and playing his chance. Yeah. 
this, this kind of game here, this Axis is just gonna, gonna win easily. 11-5, the advantage at the mid-game interval here in the second. And it is a very different Axelson here in the second game. Confirmation of that six-point advantage. 33 minutes played. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Players on board. Good. Okay. Eleven, five, play. So, eleven, five, the advantage. That's gone wide. Make that twelve, five, the advantage for the two-time former champ. Five. And the only thing I managed to catch was rather hit one more time. I think that's uh, on some occasions Axis and have gone for the winner in uh, positions where he wasn't in um, good enough 13, balance. Five. Where he feared that if he um, was less aggressive, he would be uh, made to Seven run over the diagonal. Six, 13. First service error of the match for me, the player. Chuck, fantastic service to turn. Service over 46. Oh, that was ambitious. Service over 714. Gives him a worse chance 15, of winning 7. the overall match. What do you mean he's playing the rallies too long? Yes, he's getting more and more tired. Service over 8 15. is tired because he didn't Service really over. bend the legs as he lunged 16. out to the side eight. to defend uh, that. And, and what chance is there that he's coming back from 8-16 against Axelsen here? There's no chance. Seven, eight. Now it would be the turn challenges call out. I saw that as clearly wide. But I've had a shocker today. Got most of them wrong, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, that was wide. wide. But it's also, to me, if I were with Vitsasan, it was a goal to use both my challenges in the second game. Because it's a little bit of an extra break. Challenge unsuccessful, one challenge remaining. 18-8, play. Well, 
relaxes and wants to work them yeah. as much as possible. Yes. Axel seems to be going for any of his attacking shots. points away from taking the second game and forcing a decider, the two-time former champion, Victor Axelsson. I think if I was Axis and I was just um, get this second game over with. of opportunities to close out this second game. That's gone wide. One game all, Victor Axelsson Big. takes the second game. 21-10. We will be treated 10. to a third One and deciding game. All. game. Final game, love all, play. So as the umpire said, final game. Well, interesting Victor Axelsson after making that error. One His left block. arm just towards the floor as if to say, just calm down, that's... Yeah, and is he ready now to this uh, blitz game that uh, I think his son will try again. Service over, one oh. Couldn't hear too much of what um, the, the Danes discussed in the interval, but I think uh, Royal was, was um, trying to get him so up in the right gear. Unbelievable. 
He was under severe pressure. Two. One. How did he get that focus. back? Remarkable. Good ball, show him. Thank you. Play. Oh, good defense. This time from Venus. That's over. Two. Oh. Way, way too much for it. Access and out of balance. Chance not at all as big as um, the shot indicated. Which landed in? And that's. Well, he's challenging. No, we did some challenges. I saw oh, that as instinct. In. I'm certain it was in. Oh, oh. difficult to see from that angle. <laughs> the number of times we change yeah. our opinion. No, right well, now. I'm going with my instinct. I, I thought that was it. I'm also going with it. We call it in. Yeah. Well done, line judge. Challenge and successful. One challenge remaining. That that rally and that uh, defensive over. backhand rally. Three, they are, two. They were important for Axelsen. Play. Two rallies. He could have lost. He turned them around and won them. Become really, really nasty for Axelsen if uh, Vitesan gets these uh, three. deceptive oh. drop shots in. Thank you. Three, oh. Challenge here. Well, now on challenges. From the tie oh, player, if oh. he's wrong on this, so Widdison, he's got no challenges left in this deciding game. Oh, Thank I don't think he's got any challenges left. No, I don't think so either. Here we go. And it's confirmed. No challenges challenge left and successful. in the deciding no game. No challenges remaining. Widdison. Service that over. was a little rash. Four, oh. Play. Having seen uh, Vitesan this four. attacking in his uh, style of play, it's very entertaining. No 
never been more than one point in it so far in this deciding game. Do not squeeze the shuttle. Come here. Pull out. Pull out. This is the portion. Do not push the shuttle. Okay? Yes. Yeah, well, the umpire spotting that Widdesan had squeezed the shuttle. You're not allowed to interfere with the shuttle. But if you mean right. that he's interfered with the shuttle, then it's a warning, in my opinion. Yeah, it should. Well, a, uh, an official warning. Yes. Yes. Talked about the drop shots from Widdesan. Yeah, uh, this is a lovely match. Fantastic badminton match. deciding game there's a two point difference between the two players got to be more ready on the front court and he cannot sort of uh, he cannot play shots like that it's giving away the initiative that's well done so it's over six eight he looks nervous to me Sting Axelson I think he's a little bit nervous yeah Here from Axelson. Axelson challenges call in. No, caught the line. Axelson can't believe it. One challenge remaining. Service over, 9-6. Ten, six. When you're nervous, it's the touch shots that go. Oh, that's good follow-up. Very good follow-up. 
So and that's moves. really important that Axelsen uh, prioritizes the, the follow-up shots because Vitesan has had brilliant defense. So take a little bit off the pace of the first one, as you mentioned in the interval between the first and the second game, and then be ready for the follow-up. Thank you, Lanjet. Seven, ten. It's a four point advantage. Eleven, seven. For Kuna to win us up as they change ends in this deciding game. Uh, Victor Axelson has an awful lot of work to do here in this deciding game. Widdesan leads the reigning world and Olympic champion Victor Axelsson. But Axelsson's now got the better end from which to finish the match. Yeah, but Widdesan is going to play in a totally different way. He's going to continue from uh, where he left in the first part of this game here. Axelsson said, I need to get up in pace. I agree with him. And it was it. Wait, he's going to play too short. I'm not sure he, uh, he is. Lots of right on the first rallies here. Yeah, psychologically, yeah. this is important. Oh! Oy, 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 oy. Indecision from Widersan. Sells over. Cost him dear. 8 11. That was the best possible rally access he could hope for. has the stamina. 11. I don't think he can uh, maintain the uh, style he played on the other side. Or if he had, then the, the first rally would have hurt him a lot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's got lovely skills. Super over. exception, but 12, nine. Scott to get to that one. He knows his opponent can't play the back line with confidence that's an opening to the tight service over 10, 12. Oh, oh 
a second service error. Service from over. Axelson. 30, 10, 10. That's an absolute gift to Lidesan. Coach, I think that was Lisa talking to uh, Lidesan. That's landed in. Wow. Two gifts. 14, 10. Way ahead. My goodness me. Yep. Somebody's using a flashlight yes. just along from me. So distracting for the players. Can Axelsen shake off the last two Play. weeks here? Yeah. Mentally Fine. and physically get in top gear. This is how he's about to get his first win. So nice. he's motivated naturally. Five points is a handsome lead, there's no doubt about it. Brilliant. What a fabulous 60, angle. 10. From Widersan. Good towel. Thank you. Thank you, Langet. Another gift. It was that service, that netted service. 17, 10. Axelsen was in a position to get back at 10 12. Yeah, he hasn't won a point since. Another. Six, six gifts. 18, 10. 18, 10. But is it too little, over. too late? 11, 18. Let's support this. Okay, thank you, Langet. Son needs to strike now. Play. This is now he's got to win the match, not at 18 16. Lovely angle once more from Seven Wade Son. 19 11. Quick now. Thank you. Thank you, Langett. Two tantalizing points from the title. Yep. Service over twelve nineteen. Opportunities. 
Lucio Futa, the three-time former world junior champion. So it's over 20 match point 12. Poon Lawut Widersan on the verge of victory. and great sportsmanship from the reigning world and Olympic champion. Mustering a smile to congratulate Widersan on his victory. A first ever World Tour title above a 300 level for Widersan in his first 750 final. A wonderful display, 21-12 in the deciding game in an hour and four minutes. Their confirmation of the score, 22-20, 10-21, 21-12 in the deciding game in an hour and four minutes. Well, what a performance by this young man from Thailand. And some lucky fan has got the winning shuttle. That will be treasured. Well, a tame finish, the return of serve. I think there was four or five service errors, service returner errors in that deciding game from Victor Axelsen. Very uncharacteristic. But you've got to give huge credit to Kunla Widisan because his performance today was utterly outstanding. And that's nice from the Olympic champion. A smile and a congratulation to his opponent. So the prize presentation coming up in just a moment. Well, Steen, that's a huge upset uh, against the form book. Biggest shark of the tournament. Yeah. Yeah, that's lovely. Good sportsmanship from Axelsen. And they just had to switch places before because Vitesan wasn't used to standing on that side there. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a happy man. We can see that. And why shouldn't he be? Yeah, he should be mighty proud as well. But and a tournament where Axelsen doesn't win men's singles and Zhang Siwei and Huang Yachung doesn't win mixed doubles. Yeah. That's, um, that's a surprise. So the prize presentation for the men's singles finalists. Ladies and gentlemen, we shall now proceed with the medal ceremony of the men's singles. May I request the players to proceed towards the, the victory stand. Yone Sunrise India Open 2023 men's singles silver medalist Victor Axelsen, Denmark. Victor Axelsen, the two-time former the champion in his fifth final here today Lisa at the India Open. Thailand. Well, Unla Widdesan struggling to climb onto the high podium.
so for a third time here at the India Open, Victor Axelsson has to settle for second best. But this is a major breakthrough for Kunla Widdesan. His first ever World Tour title above the 300 level when contesting his first final at a Super 750 event. Thank you, sir. May I request Mr. Vishu Dolan, BWF Vice President Panam, to present the bouquets. His Excellency, Freddy Spain, Ambassador, Royal Danish Embassy, to present the mock check. May I request all the dignitaries to come forward for a group photograph? Thank you, Your Excellency. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, a big hand for the Yonex Sunrise India Open 2023 Men's Singles Winners! Well, what a final to end this year's Yonex Sunrise India Open. Thank you very much. With that, we continue the Yonex Sunrise India Open 2023. We thank you all, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Have a very, very good day ahead. Thank you. So a major breakthrough for Puna Widdesan. First major title for him. Well, finals day concluded, which sadly had two walkovers in it. The first, the mixed doubles with the Olympic bronze medalist Yuta Watanabe and Orisa Higashino getting a walkover from the Olympic gold medalist Wang Yi Lu and Huang Dongping. Then an excellent women's singles featuring the number one and two seeds. It was a repeat of the final last week in Kuala Lumpur at the Malaysian Open. But in contrast to last week, this week in Delhi, it was Anse Young who beat the reigning world champion Akane Yamaguchi in three wonderful games. Women's doubles sadly didn't happen because Chen Ching Cheng was ill and therefore the number two ranked pair in the world, Matsuyama, and Shida had the walkover. And that was a disappointment because they are the best two pairs in the world and we were especially looking forward to that one. Then it was uh, men's doubles and Liang Wei Kang and Wang Chang in their second final in two weeks won their second World Tour title after the Japan Open last year, beating the reigning world champions Aaron Cha and So Wei Ik in three games. And as we've just seen in the men's singles, Kunlan Widdesan wins his first major title, beating Victor Axelsson, the two-time former champion here, and of course the reigning world and Olympic champion in three thrilling games. Well, the tour moves on next week to Jakarta for the Indonesian Masters 500, and then the Thai Masters 300 the following week. Sadly, neither Steen nor I will be at either of those events. But finally, for all those celebrating the Chinese New Year today, I'd like to say, Xinyan Huai Lei, 
on T5 Sai. Happy New Year. Wishing you happiness and prosperity in the year of the rabbit. From Steve Pedersen and myself, Jill Clark, until the next time, bye for now.